Hey guys, welcome back to my beauty. Today we're doing hummus. Remember I did three hummus recipes whenever. So now we're doing the three that I chose not to do today. Yep. Okay, so we got one can of chickpeas. I usually peel them. I didn't peel them today because I'm in a hurry. We're in a rush today. So um, peeling your chickpeas will make it a little, more, a little bit more smooth. It does, it is kind of time consuming. So, you know, it is what it is. So a can of chickpeas and I got one cup of spinach. So this is spinach hummus. Would you say hummuses or hum I? Baby, you know what? I ain't got time. Okay, then I got a fourth of a cup of tahini. Did I spill something? If y'all don't know what tahini is, it's a sesame seed paste, so. Usually you can find it in the peanut butter aisle. A little weird, but whatever. All right, one tablespoon of olive oil. Two tablespoons of water. I got the juice. You do the juice, half of a juice of a large lemon or full juice of one small lemon. So, And then I got um, a clove of garlic and a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna blend this all up. So this is where you can do the taste test. You can add or not take away. You can't take away if you want to add it. But anyway, you can add or whatever. It needs a little bit more salt. But anyway, that's how you do the spinach hummus. And we're gonna move on to another one that I forgot. But that's what we're gonna move on to. So I'm gonna pour this up in a bowl and we'll be back, okay? Okay, so we're back and we're doing sun-dried tomato hummus. And so it's pretty much kind of gonna be the same, not really, but anyway. Um, we got a can of chickpeas, a half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. So I'm, since there's oil in the sun-dried tomatoes, I'm really not gonna use any um, olive oil. And then we got fourth of a cup of tahini. And you can use more sun-dried tomatoes if you want. It's just, I find that they have a very strong flavor, which is why I'm only using a half a cup, so. All right, and the juice of one small lemon. Two tablespoons of water. I got one clove of garlic. And we got a half a teaspoon of salt and a, a quarter teaspoon of, a, that's what you call it. All right. Brown stuff? Yeah, brown stuff. It's uh, cumin. There you go. All right, and we're gonna blend this all up. If I can get this. Okay. So I did add a little bit of oil anyway, because it was really chunky, so. Good. It's okay. He's soft, oh. just like the last one. <laughs> okay, so. That's it for that one. It needs a little bit more salt, just like the last one, but that's that one, yep. And we're going to the next one, which we're going to the next one. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so we're back with our final one, which is gonna be our roasted red pepper hummus, and we got- Ooh, look, the roasted, yeah. Okay, so we got a cup of chickpeas right here, and then we got two roasted, red bell pepper so what i did i put these in the oven i cut them in quarters put them in the oven on 400 degrees for 25 minutes or you can actually buy these in a can if you don't feel like doing that so anyway got those in there i got the no one tablespoon of olive oil two tablespoons of water i got the juice of one small lemon I got a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of a uh, smoked paprika. It'll get in there. Then I got one clove of garlic and don't forget the tahini because I almost just did. All right, I think that's good. 
We're gonna blend this up as usual. All right. So, taste testing as usual. Needs more salt. Why well, I put a half a teaspoon of salt on all of them? You know, you always say needs more salt. Because it does. Anyway, that's that one. Um, it is a little bit soupy, so maybe don't put as much water. Instead of one, instead of two tablespoons of water, maybe just put one. Um, that's it for this video. So we got three different hummus recipes. I am gonna put some toppings on them in a bowl, but I'll show you that in the B-roll because like I said, we in a hurry today. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Love you. Bye.